When you think of jazz, it generally conjures up images of a bygone era. But here in the capital, young people are breathing new life into the genre and making it their own. Packed out club nights like this are a frequent occurrence these days. The musicians and audience are both young and the music being played is jazz. This new scene has developed because something exciting has been happening at the Royal Festival Hall. A charity called Tomorrow's Warriors provide musical instruments and teach talented young people how to develop their jazz skills and go on to be top-notch musicians. We ask that young people are at least grade three when they start. Young people can join the programme aged 11, sometimes younger if they're really exceptional and they stay with us till they're 25 and sometimes beyond. They can get up to 14 years worth of free learning and training um, to help them achieve the career that they want to have. Hopefully they learn a skill that others want to engage with them. They be, I'm giving them a chance to be functional, functional beyond just playing in a small bar down in Soho. Hopefully, that's what we're giving them. We're giving them something that they could give to the thousands and millions of people around the world. Hopefully, if it all does work out, uh, I do see myself going to be a jazz drummer, hopefully leading my own band like how Elvin Jones did or Art Blakey did. I don't have a drum kit. I haven't had a drum kit. I've played drums for about six years now. So for me, how I learn how to play drums and how I still learn is I have a kit, which in my head that I can envision, and I just put different parts where they are and then get different fragments of phrases or rhythms and just play it out air drumming. Decent music lessons are usually pretty expensive, but developing youngsters like Cassius Cobson, who doesn't even own his own drum kit, are what these warriors are all about. We're absolutely against charging um, young people to be on this program because immediately that sets up a barrier for um, anybody from an underprivileged background or even who've got parents working several jobs and still not able to make ends meet. So how on earth do we expect them to be able to pay for music lessons and particularly extended engagement on a program such as Tomorrow's Warriors. Even though it's free, these youngsters learn from some of the best jazz musicians who play all over the world. Our teacher, Binker Golden, tells us a lot of different things about theory in talking about different instruments and how to direct ourselves as musicians and interact with each other so I can pick up things from other instruments and apply that to my own playing, which is really beneficial to me because I couldn't get that anywhere else. The people in the jazz scene are not like how you see them, like, oh my gosh, they are big kind of famous people, untouchable. They, they're with us, you know? They, they do come and give us master classes and give us advice. Binker Golding is a MOBO award-winning saxophonist and learnt here himself. It's not left to chance that he comes back because there's a deal struck here. When you're successful, you teach today's youngsters. There is an understanding that we will support you to be the musician you want to be, but in turn, we expect you to take on the responsibility to your community of musicians and be prepared, if required, to teach the next generation. This isn't just about teaching, it's also about inspiration. Nubia Garcia came to the Warriors as a youngster. She's now one of the leading lights of this exciting new jazz scene. If you can see people around you, whether you know them personally or not, or you, you come to meet them, or if it's you know something a couple of years older than you that is just pursuing what they want to do, that in itself, in this day's climate, is so powerful.
um, for giving everyone hope to, to achieve, you know, it, as cheesy as it sounds, to achieve the things that they dreamt about. In my case, being an instrumentalist, being a saxophonist, being a woman, being a black woman, there's just already so many things like that don't or haven't in the past linked up. But I'm doing it. A number of other people that fit that profile are doing it. So, you know, we're here for each other and as well as we're here for the future generations to change the whole landscape of what we're dealing with. One, two, three, four. Wait, what? 13-year-old Kira Chakraborty is a beginner here and her story illustrates perfectly what playing an instrument can do for these youngsters. I was dyslexic so I found it quite hard in school and it kind of made me feel a bit like I was failing which was a bit annoying but then when I found flute it helped me kind of have my own voice and it made me feel like I kind of found myself. <laughs> I like jazz is because it lets me be free in who I am and how I play and you're never going to get two jazz musicians who play improvise the same because everyone has different ideas and a different voice. Although the music is at the forefront of everything that goes on here, it seems that this is about much more than jazz. It's like a youth club for music. I know when I was growing up, we had youth clubs to go to in our spare time, and that's all being cut away. So I think if we're looking at how do we keep um, engaging young people so that they're doing positive things instead of um, resorting to, you know, hurting each other, killing each other and, and just doing really negative activity. I think we give hope to a lot of young people. But I actually do believe that art lifts the human species out of beast-like attitudes, which we seem to have fallen back into the last 10, 15 years. But I do believe art is the only thing that can tame the beast in man anyway. So playing this wonderful jazz music can help change the lives of some young Londoners. And both the jazz scene and beyond can only benefit. I'm sure we'll be hearing plenty more from those incredible young musicians in the years to come. And that's all for tonight's show. If you missed any of the programme, it'll be available on the iPlayer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.